the Monkey Tree families. I have decided to make a short video here to tell you the method behind my madness of the things I ask for that you pack for your child when you come to Monkey Tree. So first thing is in the morning you're probably wondering, oh what does Liz want this morning? What's the weather like? I don't want to pack too much. I don't want to pack too little. So I'm going to just make this really simple for you. In doubt, pack it, but don't overpack because then your child's going to be digging for things that they probably don't even know that they need. Let's start with the backpack. Backpack needs to be one that fits your child and they're going to come in all kinds of shapes and sizes obviously. Uh, fitted straps, if you don't have the chest strap, which is super handy, you can also try and do one for yourself and make one on your own. If they don't fit properly, then we can pull them down a bit on the straps to cinch it. But oftentimes, I do see the back straps uh, sliding and then they're kind of walking around like this. So we do want them to feel comfortable. Inside the backpack, so we're going to do an unbagging of the backpack. In the bottom here is the pair of uh, a set of seasonal clothes in a Ziploc bag with their name on it. And this will be, I've got a long sleeve shirt or it could be a t-shirt. Maybe that's better for when it is the springtime and summer when we're getting into days like May and June. A extra pair of long pants and a pair of socks and a pair of underwear. So that is all going to go back in this bag and stuff it in the backpack. It stays in the backpack because we take our backpack with us when we go to the forest. Not always, but I am ensuring that we do this every single time because it just doesn't seem right not to take it when this is what we're going to need. This will be used in an emergency situation in the sense like maybe somebody wet their pants, maybe they fell into a big puddle of water and it went through all layers of clothing. So this is where this is going to be handy. The other thing that's in here is a water bottle. This water bottle is child sized and it's really simple to use. I just push this button, it releases the water and it snaps closed. Or this one, which has a straw that you just push this button and it releases and it can close again. This one's too big for a child, this one's my size, but this is the perfect size. Next is my snack bag. So that's all that's in there, right here. This, this, and this. Also, I have been asking for a pair of fleece mitts to be tucked inside the backpack as well because those cool mornings or in the forest are going to be necessary. I'm going to get to the snack in a few minutes, but I'm going to get over to this little bag here, which is a tote bag, which is the perfect size for a child. When you get into sending bags that are even big for you as a tote bag, it's going to be ginormous for your child and they're not going to be able to dig and find what they need quickly and efficiently. We have a dressing chart here, and I'm just gonna peel this right off the wall. This dressing chart shows that they're first going to find a sweater, maybe a zip sweater, a hoodie, maybe a pullover sweater. Then they're gonna look for their outdoor adventure pants, which are going to be, I'm gonna take this right here, which is going to be right in here. So I'm just gonna dig out my outdoor pants, and I'm going to put those on after I've got my sweater on, which is probably hanging on my hook already. And I'm going to find my coat. So the coat probably won't be in here, but it might, or you might have worn it and it's going to be on the hook. But if not, I'm going to dig that out and I'm going to put that on. Then I'm going to find my boots. Now I really like it having to wear our boots out to the forest and especially in the backyard because it's still quite wet in the morning. Plus we never know what we're going to find. In the, we never know what we're going to come across in the forest. And then there is going to be a spot for a time for wearing a hat, a fleece hat or something of the sort. And please no strings on the hats because that is a strangulation um, hazard. This one is a hat of mine, but I have uh, often just tucked that right up underneath my head. And this is a great little rain hat. This is a, a kid size hat, but you know what? It works for me too. All those things are going to be found in your child's bag, which is going to be easily accessible 
and then that just goes over on the hook and they found everything that they need. So, snack bag. Easy to open with the zipper. I have a paper napkin, cloth napkin, fork, spoon, call that a fork. I also always like to have this because it ends up being like my little placemat, my own little picnic area when we're eating. So things like hmm, bananas, apples are going to come. You'll often find all those end bits, the cores, the peels, the wrappers, they're all going to go back inside this bag. And the easy to open containers, I know that's difficult. I've had these containers for so, so long. Some of them have been from the thrift store, which means that they have been used over and over and over again, which means they're easy to open. This little guy's not so bad either. I can put some nuts in there or some few bits of blueberries. This one here, I've just turned the top a little bit and it opens. It's a good idea too if you have these kind um, that you're sending for your child that you could just slightly open that and then they can open that with success. Same thing with when it comes to these things, these are um, with the sandwich bags or snack bags and they just have a Velcro strap. I have had this one for probably seven years now actually. And when it comes to something like this, I have a pair of scissors in my backpack all the time or if we're here at Monkey Tree having snack inside or outside and they can start to work on opening that themselves. I have a note for a tree string because I don't have a cheese string here. Um, the cheese strings are interesting because it's really difficult for them to open on their own. They, they, they can't. It's just not there right now for some, maybe, but it's hard enough for me as an adult to be able to get into that spot and just open it and peel it down. So as I've encouraged before is uh, for parents, if you just start that peel just a little bit and then just to keep going with it for themselves that they can, they can continue the pull. So there are some things in there for you to see and then they're able to put everything back inside. I've got some extra bits in here so that's not going to close all the way. And then they can tuck that back inside their backpack, hopefully with ease, and their water bottle. And be able to follow the track on the zipper and pull their hand along it. That's how I'm teaching them to do it. And then it's able to go back on the back. So that's it. That's all I really need to see. There'll be a time that's gonna come when the clothing is gonna get bigger and bulkier because we're gonna have snow coats and like winter coats, warm layered coats, and these backpacks are gonna need to fit um, nicely on them again. And you might find you're gonna have to switch up backpacks as well because it might not be fitting with a big bulky uh, coat on. And um, the, what was else I was gonna mention? Of course, so I am, always encouraging them to uh, help themselves first. I always say that you have you have two hands, so let's see what you can do with those first. I encourage them to help themselves first and to try, and if not, then they can say, Liz, I need some help, please. I am absolutely willing to help all the time, and once they're also shown how that they can do things by themselves, and they can see that encouragement from myself and others, and then they've done it, the confidence just starts to build. It's just oozing from them because they're so excited to share with me. Liz, look, I did it, I did it all by myself. I will help, of course, with zippers and with uh, outdoor pants being put over top of their boots and helping them get that last little bit on their backpack and their vests on come first as well before the backpack. And this just adds to the layers of confidence for them, and which is really needed because they're gonna, that's going to build their, their self-value, their self-worth, and their self-esteem, and they're going to be so proud of themselves, and they will let you know as well. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I just want to make this easy for everyone, and especially for your children, because I love watching them do this and get excited about getting dressed to go outside. All right, thanks so much.